Oh, hello guys, Aquatic Let's Plays and Reviews here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Snapshot Review. This is 21W18A, and we'll be jumping into the game as soon as I read all this change log. All the important stuff, anyway. So here we go. 21W18A. Hey ho, will you look at that? It's Wednesday once again which means we get to share updates about all the Minecraft bits and bobs. This week, we're distributing an ore distribution snapshot for all your lovely snapshot connoisseurs to feast upon. Enjoy. Changes in 21W18A. Infested blocks are no longer instantly destroyed. Instead, they have half the destroy time of their normal non-infested counterparts. Screaming goats will use their ram attack more often than other goats will. Now we have changes to the caves and cliffs preview data pack. Now this is something big because we have had a lot of issues with lag on the server Aquatic Land. So if we scroll up here really quick, we're going to take a look. We're going to take a look here at some of the changes down here. Right here, it says reduce copper spawn a bit um, to com compensate for large ore veins. Large ore veins are slightly more rare and slightly smaller on average. But the size varies a lot, so you can still find huge ones. Increased chance of finding raw ore blocks in ore veins. Cave carvers generate below Y0 in ocean biomes. They didn't before. It was an accident. Increase the minimum size of noodle caves and caverns to make them easier to traverse and less broke up into fragments. Noodle caves no longer generate Y above Y30, so the surface should be should be less riddled with holes. Remove deep sleep blobs above Y0. Extended the vertical range of smaller blobs of iron ore to make it possible to find in to find iron in caves near the surface. Slightly reduce the amount of normal size iron blobs to compensate for large ore veins and increased range of smaller blobs. Now there is one particular one that I'm going to uh, to focus on here, and that is the one that causes major lag somewhere. Well, there was a bug that in the data pack caused a major lag, and that was what was going on with the server, if you noticed it in my videos. So, so that has been fixed onto, uh, onto things on my server. That has apparently been fixed. We will check that out. And now... Let's go into game. They did it, guys. They actually did it. They got rid of the lag. I can walk around without being pulled back at any certain moment in time. This feels so good. Because... In the last couple of snapshots, it's been nothing but lag. Nothing. And I'm sure you guys who watch have noticed that in the videos. Bryce has definitely noticed it. I've noticed it. We're really the only ones here on the server. And it has been really laggy. So they fixed it. They actually fixed it. And it feels so good. 
feels so good to know that they fixed it. So, okay. Here we have all of the infested blocks in the game. Right here. Now, it's kind of ironic because I was exploring yesterday and then I accidentally hit a silver fish egg infested block whichever one you want to call it and it broke and I was attacked by a silver fish so I'm kinda of making myself volunteer here Go over the goats in just a little bit. Ugh, I hate these doors. But it feels so good. Ah, oh, cry creeper. Come on, get over here. Get over here. Gonna explode, explode over here. Ah! Okay, at least you exploded, exploded over there, not over here. Alright, so you saw that I didn't get much of a chance to mine all of those other blocks, but anyway. <laughs> normal time it would take for you to mine one is now different than it used to be. It'll take a little bit longer. That's how you know the silver fish, silver fish spawner. Goodness, sometimes I can't talk. Okay, uh, Locate, let's see if I can locate biome, mountain. Well, I suffocated in a wall. That's perfect. Okay. No longer need that. And no, I didn't get rid of my pickaxe that I had. I, uh, have one in there. So we're gonna we're gonna turn back into creative mode. And we're gonna go here. You're probably thinking, why here? Well, cause goats. If we can find one, a screaming one in particular. to be rammed. I don't know if it'll work just for any old nail. But if they, basically if they scream, if they're the screaming kind, then they will, you know. They'll ram you more. Oh, 
Come on, ram me. Ram me, ram me, ram me, ram me, ram me. Ah. Ow, I just had to ask. Still no sign of a goat horn anywhere. Which kind of stinks. So the last thing I can think about here, well, I need to go back to creative mode. So the last thing on the agenda here is cave generation. It says all the things that I've mentioned earlier. Reduce copper spawns, large ore veins are slightly more rare and smaller on average. You can still find large copper, large veins of ores. Cave carvers generate below Y0. They didn't before. It was an accident. Maximum size of new caves and stuff have been made easier to traverse. New caves no longer generate above Y level 1, Y level 30. Remove deep slate blobs at Y0. Extended the vertical range of smaller blobs and iron ore to make possible to find iron in caverns in caves near the surface. Slightly reduce the number normal size iron blobs to compensate for large ore veins. Oh, I forgot one thing. One more thing. We need to go to the never for a bit. Gold. Need to get some wrong gold blocks. If we go here, So let's just say that I have a whole that some piglins. Do they love gold bound gold blind now? Oh okay. Do they love that kind of thing? If I do this, go into survival. Go 
through this area. Oh, this is the portal. So yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this snapshot video. Be looking out for a new Aquatic Land episode tomorrow or Friday. You know, you can always depend on that. I don't know that I will put one out tomorrow, but definitely Friday for sure. If for some reason not Friday, it would be on Sunday and start a new week. Saturday or Sunday. So, yeah, just be looking out for the reviews. There. Just be looking out for them. They'll be coming at you very, very soon. No more lag. Thank goodness for that. I think we got some more copper veins there. So that's going to be good. I'm going to be going and getting that for my house. We'll be finishing up the season before too long. Maybe past 100 episodes. I don't know. But I want to finish up the season before too long. So, yeah. That's what... Today's snapshot review has been of is some still some tweaks and stuff. No goat horn, sadly. No mountains yet. But we'll get there. Don't worry guys. We're gonna get there eventually. And don't worry. We'll we'll have our uh, little fun with Bryce Films in the next episode. Because he's been trolling me off camera. We'll have some fun with him. So, if you have enjoyed this video, I know it's a little bit late when I'm putting this out, but I hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you did, I would very nicely, I would very kindly appreciate a like, and, a, and for you to subscribe, turn on notifications, to never miss a Minecraft video, because we handle snapshots and pre-releases on the channel and any Minecraft news that you could off will need. If you want more in-depth reviews, always go check out Slice Lime and Exuma Void, which are some of the other ones I will I highly recommend on YouTube. And also subscribe to my main channel. We are almost to five thousand subscribers. That's just absolutely unbelievable to me. So we are almost to 5,000 subscribers on LEGO Show TV. That is the main channel. So, if you did enjoy, please comment, like, and subscribe. Also, you can find the raw ore blocks in ore veins. So don't forget that. And I will see you next time. Stay safe, everybody. Goodbye.